Hello everyone. How's my family in Christ Jesus doing this day? I hope that y'all are doing very well today because I am well today. I am blessed and I am highly favored today. Today is a good day. Today is a day to always sing and praise and worship to our Heavenly Father God. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing right now, every day is a blessed day to be in the presence of the Lord. Right now, if you're not doing anything, if you have 60 seconds of your free time, can you please join me in praise and worship today? This morning, this afternoon, or this night, wherever you are in this world right now. Where I'm at right now, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. And right now, it's time to praise and worship our Heavenly Father God. Oh God, we just want to say that we love you even more. We thank you even more. We worship in your name even more. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing right now today, we still put our faith and our trust in you today, oh God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, there's nobody like you. There's nobody greater than you. There's nobody awesome than you, oh God. For that reason right there, we just seek, we're just seeking you today. We just praise you today. We just glorify and magnify your holy name today, oh God. Oh, Lord, oh Heavenly Father God, there's nobody truthful like you. There's nobody amazing like you. Nobody can do the things that you can do. Nobody can perform the miracles and wonders like you. I just want to let you know I trust you today, Jesus. I believe you even more today, Jesus. I give you all of me today, Jesus. Not some of me, but I'm giving you all of me today, Jesus. Every last bit of part of me, I'm giving it to you because you know what's best for me. You know what's best for every last one of your children. And we just want to say we thank you today. We want to say that we worship you today. We want to say that we glorify and magnify your holy name right now in your place today, Jesus. You're welcome in this place today, Jesus. You're welcome where we at right now today, Jesus. You're welcome. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move like you never moved, like you never moved before today, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we ask you to take over like you never took over before. And we give you the thanks. And we give you the praise. And we always give you the glory. In Jesus, Jesus, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We worship you today, God. We love you even more today, God. We embrace your holy name. We embrace your love today, God. We know that your angels and saints right now are worshiping us right now today, God. Oh, hallelujah. We magnify your holy name today, oh God. We worship you today, oh God. We glorify your holy name today, oh God. We love, we love being in your presence today, oh God. We love seeking you each and every day with all our might, heart, and soul, oh God. Oh God, no matter what we go through, no matter what we face, we still put our faith and our trust in you today, oh God. We love you, God. We always going to continue to be obedient in your presence today, oh God. We always going to continue to serve you, oh God, the way that we post to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Yes, Father. And today's text is coming from Exodus chapter 6, verse 1. That's Exodus chapter 6, verse 1. And today's message and lesson is today. When you are tired, that's when you need to hand it over to Jesus right now. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. And I don't know who is this message for today. But this message right now today is clearly for someone right now. Jesus knows that you're tired. He know you've been fighting something for way long too time. He know that you've been fighting the situation long enough. And today, my brother and sister, whoever you are, today is the day for you to hand it over to Jesus. Let him work it out. Then you will see what his righteous right hand is going to do. That's what he did for Pharaoh. So he was testing Pharaoh. He kept telling Pharaoh, hand them over, hand them over, hand them over. But Pharaoh was being stubborn. He would not hand it over. He didn't realize that we serve an awesome and amazing God. He didn't know that God was going to turn things right. He didn't know what he was about to see. And right now, my brothers and sisters, right now, Jesus is telling y'all right now, it's time for y'all to hand it over. Let me take care of the situation for you. I know it's way too much for you, but you just hand it over to me. Hand it over to him. Do yourself a favor today. And that's what we're going to be preaching about today. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out. To give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. 
I can't thank you enough for another day in life today. Another day with strength today. Another day with our health today. Another day with energy today. Another day for us to seek you, continue to praise you, continue to glorify you, continue to magnify you, continue to put our faith and our trust and our belief in you each and every day. I just can't thank you enough, oh Heavenly Father God, for everything that you have done and everything that you're doing. I can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy. I can't thank you enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on our back. I can't thank you enough for the food that you put on our table. I can't thank you enough for the roof that you provide for our family. I just can't thank you enough that we was able to get on our knees today and pray and worship today. I can't thank you enough for the word that we about to receive today. I just can't thank you enough for your love. I just can't thank you enough for your giving. I just can't thank you enough for you always, always on time for every last one of us. I just can't thank you enough. Whenever I'm going through something, I can always call and depend and count on you. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's why I'm always going to continue to praise you, worship you, and glorify and magnify your holy name. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, for the blessings that you about to prepare for every last one of us. I just can't thank you enough for the gift that you endowed in every last one of your children. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn y'all Bibles to Exodus chapter 6. And we're going to read verse 1. It's Exodus 6. And we're going to read verse 1. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, amen. And let us begin. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. Because of my mighty hand, he will not let them go. Because of my mighty hand, he will drive them out of this country. The Lord said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh because of my mighty hand. He won't let them go. And right now, Jesus is telling you right now, you're going to see what I'm going to do. But right now, I want y'all to hand it over to me. He said, I know that y'all are tired of fighting the same situation. He said, I know that y'all are tired of fighting the same problem. But y'all being stubborn, just like Pharaoh. I know that you are tired of going through the alcohol addiction by yourself. He said, I know that you are tired of going through that drug addiction by yourself. I know that y'all are tired of trying to figure things out on your own. I know that y'all are tired because you still haven't seen any progress right now. I know that y'all are tired that your marriage is still going up and down. I know that you are tired of facing the same problem each and every day. I know that y'all are tired of being going through the hurt. He said, I know that y'all are tired of going through the pain. I know that y'all are tired of going through what you're going through. And he's saying to y'all right now, like he told Pharaoh, my son, my daughter, why don't you hand it over to me? Let me take care of the problem. I know that you're tired. I know that you can't take care of it on your own. I know it's way too much. Let me handle it. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. But I know one of my brothers right now. I know one of my sisters right now. I know that you're tired of going through what you're going through. I know that you're tired of facing what you're facing. I know that you're tired of trying to deal with it on your own. My brothers, my sisters, do yourself a favor. Hand it over to Jesus. Let Jesus work it out. He knows. Because right now, Jesus has been testing y'all for, for quite some time right now. He knows what y'all been going through. He knows what y'all been facing. But in the midst of all of that, you guys have been trying to handle it all by yourself. And you wonder why it's driving you crazy. You wonder why you still haven't seen any change yet. Change right now. You wonder why, why it's making you crazy right now. Today, do yourself a favor, my sisters. Today, do yourself a favor today, my brothers. You need to hand it over to Jesus right now. He knows to take care of the problem way more than you do. Then when you hand it over to him, then you will see the, the rights and the works of Jesus' mighty right hand. But until you do that, you got to hand it over. You got to hand it over. So that way, did the Pharaoh kept telling Pharaoh, "Hand over the Israelites, hand over." But Pharaoh was still so stubborn, he would not do it. And see, when Pharaoh then realized Jesus was already testing him, Jesus already knew how he was going to do it and when he was, when he was going to do it and how it was going to be done. But Pharaoh didn't see that, 
And right now, some of y'all are just like Pharaoh right now. You can't see what Jesus is about to do. You can't even imagine how Jesus is about to begin. But he can, he's still testing every last one of y'all right now. Hand it over. Hand it over. I know that you're tired. I know that you don't want to get no divorce. But hand it over. Let me be the center of your marriage. I know you're trying to fight that drug addiction, that alcohol addiction by yourself. But hand it over to me. Let me help you. I know people mistreating you wrong. I know people doing you wrong. I know that you're hurting. I know that you're in pain. I know that you're crying. Hand it over to me. Let me heal that wound for you. I know you're ready for your dreams to come to pass. But you're trying to do it all by yourself. Hand it over to me. I'm the, I'm the starter and I'm also the finisher. That's what he's telling somebody right now. Whatever it is that you're tired of. Whatever it is that you're going through. Whatever it is that you're facing right now, my sisters, my brothers. You need to hand it over to Jesus right now. I know this message right now is talking to somebody right now. Somebody's tired. Somebody is tired. Somebody don't have enough. Somebody's fed up. i going through what they're going through right now. And if you are sick and tired, and you really, really, really tired, the best thing I can tell you to do right now, my sister, my brothers, is hand it over to Jesus. Y'all guys not the only one who's tired. I've been tired before. I've been tired before. When things weren't going right, when things were looking so, so pretty for me, I just got tired trying to do it all by myself. I said, Jesus, here you go. I'm not going to be like Pharaoh and be stubborn because I know I'm tired. And I know, if I know I'm tired, I know that you know that I'm tired. And once I realized that I was tired or going through what I was going through, I knew Jesus was also, he already knew that I was tired. But once I handed it over, then I started seeing his righteous right hand going to play. It started going to work right then and there. And for all you, for y'all to see that, you're going to have to hand it over. Or he's going to have to do it himself. Why don't you do yourself a favor right now today? Because either way it goes, you're going to see the righteous right hand. You're going to see his works. You're going to see his wonders. But I know that you're tired right now, my sisters and brothers. Quit being like Pharaoh. Don't be stubborn. Hand it over. The way he said, he said, now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. And that's what God, Jesus is telling y'all right now. You will see what I will do to the enemy. You will see what I will do to the haters. You will see what I will do to the nation. You will see what I will, how I turn your marriage around. You will see how I give you the strength. You will see what I will do for you, my son. You will see what I will do for you, my daughter. But right now, I'm asking you to hand it over right now. Hand it over to me. Not some of it, not a little bit, but I want you to hand it all over to me right now. I know people have been mistreating you. I know people have been dogging you out. I know people have been doing you wrong. I know things have been going around in your life, but I want you right now to hand everything over to me right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Then you're going to see what I'm going to do. Just don't take my word for it. Take the word for it. It's right here. Exodus 6.1. Now in Exodus 6, when you can read all through the Bible, you will see what Jesus will do for you. But if you have to hand it over, hand it over to him. When you hand it over to him, don't look back. When you hand it over to Jesus, don't look back, my sisters. When you hand it over to Jesus, don't look back, my brothers. You will see what he will do. That's what Pharaoh had to do. Pharaoh had to learn the hard way. Pharaoh thought he was winning the battle. Then realize he's already lost. Right now, some of y'all think y'all winning the battle, the, the, the battle by trying to take on your situation all by yourself. You're gonna lose, my, my sister and brothers. You will lose. Hand it over. Hand it over. God can work things out that you can never work out in your life. He can turn your marriage around. He can turn your situation around. He can turn your finances around. He can turn your dreams around. He can turn your your pain around. You're hurt around. Nobody can do what Jesus can do. Nobody can fathom what he can do. Nobody can work in ways like he can work. Nobody can provide the way that he can provide. And right now, the best thing for y'all to do is hand it over. If you're going through pain and you're tired of going through that pain, hand it over. Let Jesus work it out. If you're tired of going through your, your drug 
and your alcohol and your sex addiction or whatever it is that you're addicted to, hand it over. If you're tired, if your marriage is really not working the way it's supposed to, hand it over. What about your dreams, your goals? Hand it over. Your finances, job situation, your love life, hand it over. Hand it over right now, the way how your children are, are behaving or acting. Hand it over. Or whatever it is, right now, do yourself a favor. Hand it over. You know that you're tired? Jesus knows that you're tired. Hand it over today. And I don't know who this message for today. But I know this message right now is clear for somebody today. It only might be for one person. But I believe and I declare right now that my sisters and my brothers right now, they are handed it over right now. I know that you're tired. You know that you're tired. And Jesus know that you're tired. Do yourself a favor right now and hand it over to him. Hand it over to our heavenly father God. And then you will see what he's going to do. Amen. Amen. And if this word and this message and this video was helpful towards you today, and if this word and this video and this message was for you today, let's give him thanks right now today. Let's give him praise right now today. Let's give him the glory right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, and use us so we can build the relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus by us praying a simple little prayer that God, we already know that you're working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to leave me a comment or want to ask me a question, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' holy name, amen.